A four-day ceasefire between Israel and Hamas began on Friday, November 24, allowing desperately needed aid to flow into the Gaza Strip and setting the stage for the release of dozens of hostages held by militants and Palestinians detained by Israel. There was no reported fighting in the hours after the ceasefire began. The deal offered some relief to Gaza's 2.3 million people who have endured weeks of Israel bombardment and a near total siege, as well as to families in Israel worried about loved ones captured in the October 7 Hamas attack that triggered the latest war in the decades long political conflict. The ceasefire raised hopes of a final end to the conflict, which has seen large swathes of Gaza flattened by Israel's military response, a surge in violence against Palestinians in the occupied West Bank, and fears of a wider conflagration across the Middle East. Israel is determined to resume its massive offense once the ceasefire ends. On Friday, November 24, it brought calm after weeks of daily heavy bombardment and artillery fire by Israel forces in Gaza, as well as street fighting as ground troops advanced through northern neighborhoods. Shortly after the ceasefire went into effect, air raid sirens were reported to have sounded in response to rockets fired by Hamas fighters at Israeli towns near the territory. According to Israel, four trucks carrying four and four carrying cooking gas crossed into Gaza from Egypt. Israel has agreed to allow 130,000 liters of oil to enter daily during the ceasefire, still a small fraction of Gaza's estimated daily needs for more than 1 million liters.